Hey guys and welcome back. Today I will be showing you how to make an XP grinder the best way and the most efficient way for the most XP you can possibly get. So, first off, let's dig out four blocks on each side. So there's one, two, three, four. And you need extra blocks. You need 14 signs four water buckets and that's pretty much it some iron pickaxes torches a sword and you want to dig out four on each side putting walls around each one of them like this you got one, two, three, four, four, four. So we need to go out two more on this side. You keep mining and mining. Lots of mining. This is part of my series. I found this spawner. I'm doing an XP grinder t tutorial um, on that. If this is your first time watching one of my videos. So we got one two three four we got one two one two three four and now we need it just on this side so we need two more and after this is done we'll start with the floor of the mob spawner Keep mining and mining. Great way to get cobblestone if you need any extra cobblestone. And four more blocks. Alright, so the main square is done. Now you will need to go two down on the floor. So you got one, two, one, two, one, two. You might need a shovel uh, just in case there's a lot of dirt. I didn't think of, it, of that, so. I'll just take it out of my water bucket. And you basically dig two blocks around everything. I will cut this part out. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, we're back. So I finished digging out this added some more torches so let's move on alright so the next thing you want to do is put the water down in each one of the corners then you will see where it is going towards so you see it will all go toward this area so what you want to do is you want to dig out all of the blocks that the water is not touching And then you want to remove every block 
that the water is um, on the very edge parts. So every block like this. And then you see it all goes straight toward the center. So now swim up here and get your water. And now you can start building the main portion. So dig through here. Let me uh, put some bricks down. All right. So I think we yeah you get one more. Oh sorry. Lag spike. Alright, so now you grab your signs, you have 14 of them, and put these signs like this, oh, sorry, not like that, like this, and put water right there, and when they flow in here, they'll get pushed up and it is like an elevator sorry my WSD was messing up for a second okay so now what you need to do is make a source block of water fill all your buckets up And then dig up as high as you can from this position. I think, of, yeah, about right there. And then you need to go water, sign, water, sign, and so on. All the way up until you have one water as the last one and one more sign all right so once you have the last water down and one more sign you'll need to dig this way and then put a sign right there now what you'll need to do make it so this is like that so right when they come up they'll go straight here and then they will fall I think I'm gonna do one more one more brick this is pretty much your own opinion on where you want to put the sign just you can't put it on the first one or really the second one because then you'll run into your uh, spawner area so what you need to do is go down 22 bricks from right here so face this way take that torch out and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and that kind of messed me up. Uh, I think that's like about 19, 20, 21, 22. Should do it. No. Off by a little bit. And then, after you, I think it's one up, sorry about that, but make sure you are level with this so that the water is like that. Put a brick right there, 
and you have your spawner, uh, your dropper area. Then what I like to do is dig around here to make it right in the back area. Ah, that's the back area. So right, right here. I like to take two bricks out of there. And then you need to dig two out of here. So if anything gets backed up in there, then you can just walk up here and get all of the extra drops. All right, now let's test a little bit. Oh, that's that torch. Let's test to see if this is right. So what you'll need to do is go through here, get your water, uh, fill that in, put both buckets down, take all these torches, and try to go as fast as you can. I'll take that chest in a second, they're going to start spawning. This is a little dangerous, you might want to have some armor to do this because you definitely can hurt yourself so uh, get through there and put the brick back and now they are floating up your ladder and I will come back when they fall alright the first guys are falling you, get, you can see that there is a guy with an enchanted bow so all you need to do is whack them with anything. Um, don't use any tools or swords so you don't waste their durability. But now you get free experience. Some may die from the fall, so you may want to raise it up if you don't mind um, hitting them a little bit more. But not many die, and it is pretty efficient. And what I like to do is make like a chest here and you can fill it up with bows um, you fill it up with bows bones and arrows and as you can see I've already gone up four and a half levels and if you wait here for say 30 minutes and just let them fall you can get a insane amount of experience very fast so I will skip back to when I have a lot of of them uh, in here and see you in a second. Alright, as you can see, I've waited about 10 minutes or so and there are a load of them in there. So let's start punching away. Look at that experience bar go up. Still about... Half of them are back there, they just popped up. Oh. So I just went up about six levels for ten minutes, which is fairly good because I was past the first levels, which, uh, are easier to get so I was in like the hard to get levels and you can see we've already earned many bows and arrows and bones so thank you guys for watching and please like comment and subscribe and thank you very much bye